Good morning. Today I would like to talk a bit about the Holy Spirit. So our friend. But just before we start, I would like to just give a little bit of context. So Jesus, when he was on earth, he was praying and he asked the disciples to pray with him a few times and then they would fall asleep. So the disciples were struggling to pray. The disciples doubted him, uh, betrayed him, denied him. So then came Pentecost and Jesus went to heaven and he said, stay in Jerusalem till I send you the Holy Spirit. Till you receive the Holy Spirit. So then after they received the Holy Spirit, they went from doubting, from prayerless, from powerless to full of power. The Holy Spirit gave them the ability to perform miracles, thousands of people giving their lives to Christ. Through their faith, through their boldness, through their wisdom, authority that the Holy Spirit gave them, they could do wonderful things in the name of Jesus. So the Holy Spirit is God is in heaven. If God is in heaven and Jesus went to heaven, the Holy Spirit is here. So Jesus said he's sending us someone better. And I was like, but how? <laughs> Jesus is amazing. So how are you sending someone better? And then the Holy Spirit is our connection. So the Holy Spirit is inside of me. That's why he's better. Because he's inside of me. He's inside of you. It's the same Spirit everywhere in everyone that believes in Jesus. The Holy Spirit is the one that enables us all to do wonderful things, to live in power, to live in the kingdom of God. So the Holy Spirit is the key. So if God is in heaven and Jesus is in heaven, the Holy Spirit is our communicator, our connection. So the people, the authors of the Bible who wrote the Bible, they did it through the Holy Spirit, through the help of the Holy Spirit. In Second Peter, we read that the Holy Spirit enabled the writing. So the Holy Spirit reveals God's truth. What God wanted to say revealed, the Holy Spirit revealed it through, through the Holy Spirit to the author who was writing the Bible. So the Holy Spirit is speaking to us. The Holy Spirit is our helper. The Holy Spirit is our communicator. The Holy Spirit is the one that gives you the wisdom, the authority. So he is our best friend. He is the one that you want by your side, always. And he's in you. It's the same spirit in you that raised Jesus from the dead. The same spirit inside of you who created heaven and earth. Just think about that. That's amazing. So just let's read a little bit about it. What does the Bible say about the Holy Spirit? So John 14 verse 15. And I will pray the Father, to the Father and he will give you another helper that he may abide with you forever. The Holy Spirit is with all of us forever. Spirit of truth who the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him but you know him for he dwells within you and will be in you. So what do you have that someone else that's in, that's in the world doesn't have? If you believe, if you are a child of God, you have the Holy Spirit. You have that inheritance. You have that gift. He says he's sending us a gift. That's what, make, that's what makes you more powerful. That gives you the favor. That gives you the authority. It's the Holy Spirit inside of you. Now in verse 25, will teach you all things. The Holy Spirit is your teacher. So if you can't understand the Bible, if you're struggling, ask the Holy Spirit. He's the counselor. He's the teacher to help you to reveal the word to you. He wrote the book. He wrote the Bible. So he can help you figure it out. He can give you the insight, the revelation that you need. He is the key to understanding God's truth. Romans 15 verse 13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy. Feet in believing so that you, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit, you may abound in hope. The Holy Spirit gives you the hope, helps you 
Mercedes Dua helps you run the race. 1 Corinthians 9 says, Your bodies are a temple of the Holy Spirit. Isaiah 11 verse 2, The Spirit of the Lord will rest on him. The Spirit and understand the the spirit of understanding, the spirit of counsel, of might, the spirit of knowledge and fear of the Lord. That's the spirit that's inside of you, of knowledge, of understanding. Romans 8 verse 26. Spirit helps us in our weakness. The Holy Spirit is there to help you. You are not alone in this. So Matthew 12 verse 32. Anyone who speaks a word against the Spirit, sorry, anyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven. But anyone who speaks against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. Either in this age or in the age to come, make a tree good and its fruits will be good. Or make a tree bad and its fruits will be bad. For a tree is to be recognized by its fruit. So the Holy Spirit is someone to be respected, loved. Not to talk bad about the Holy Spirit. Or speak against the Holy Spirit. Because he's powerful. And he's inside of you. So the Holy Spirit helps us to renew our minds. To reveal the word of God. To fill us with his love. Galatians 5 verse 22 to 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, kindness, goodness, gentleness, self-control. That is the Spirit that's within you. So yes, we have our old self, the old nature that we're struggling with. But if you keep on filling your word, your life with the word of God, and asking God to help you to understand it and apply it in your life. The seed needs to fall, fall into your heart and it needs to grow and the fruit will come out. Romans 8 verse 2 to 6. Those who live according to the flesh have their mind set on what the flesh desires. But those who live according with the spirit have their mind set on what the spirit desires. The mind Grown, grown by the flesh is death. Sorry, the mind governed by the flesh is death, but the mind governed by the spirit is life and peace. Romans 8 verse 11. The same spirit who raised Jesus from the dead dwells within you. So, the Holy Spirit will reveal things to you and help you. The same as in Matthew 16, when Jesus asked the disciples, but who am I? And Peter Simon said, says, you are Christ. And Jesus says, that blood and flesh did not reveal this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. So the Holy Spirit will reveal things to you, but the Father says, the Holy Spirit will transform you into boldness, into powerful. So he transformed the disciples from powerless witnesses to powerful servants, effective in the kingdom of God. And he can do the same for you. He can help you. He is your connection. He is your power. He is your boldness. He is the one that will help you to endure, to go on, to fight this good fight. fight. But talk to him. Ask him to help you and he will. Have a beautiful day.